Hey guys, Steve D. Christ on here, and today I'm just going to be reviewing a good film that I've recently watched. Um, I've watched many times over and over again. Uh, I've been to see it when it was first shown at the theatres. Well, cinemas, I call it. But, um, anyways, it's starring Jonah Hill and Russell Brand, and that's getting too great. But, before I uh, start reviewing that, I'm going to show you why I, I am going to be reviewing it. So, see you all in a minute. In a moment, sorry. <laughs> hey guys, TV Cast Daniel here, and welcome back. And um, basically, I'm going to just show you why I'm stuck inside. I'm going to review again to agree for you. Okay, let's go. See guys, it's so wet and miserable, um, like, it's raining, it's just miserable as shit, like, everything's, like, flying about, um, uh, got a mud down there, and shit, um, just leave a pond as well out of here. And away we go. Right then. Right, let's uh, get down to it. Alright guys, uh, DVD Plex Daniel here. I'm back to be reviewing Get Him to Greek. Um, what, what you've just seen is miserable weather. Raining, muddy, uh, cold wind. Just miserable shit Sunday weather. Oh, this fucking chair keeps sliding. Right guys, um, this is the extended party edition and it's longer, funnier and total, totally outrageous. This is actually an amazing film. Um, I didn't think it would be that good, but when I went to go see it, it was absolutely awesome guys. This right here is like the new hangover, it's like more wild, more crazy, um, really, really fun to watch, um, and I bet it'll be a right laugh to watch this one, you're really, really pissed as well, <coughs> which I haven't done yet, but, uh -huh. by the way guys, fantastic film, Russell Brand, Russell Brand um, sorry, he played a really, really uh, brilliant part in this, and so did Jonah Hill, um, Jonah Hill was the main part of this film, basically, um, this film, it would fall, pe fall to pieces um, in some ways if Jonah Hill wasn't in this film, um, but it's just really, really outrageous, it's really, really, really crazy film, it's a real good film, and it's just too funny, um, you'll just, 
you just like you watch it over and over again and you just keep still laughing it was just so funny um i watched it last night and again i couldn't stop laughing so it's one of the films guys um okay i'm just gonna read some of the back of the in t back of the case for you and then i'm gonna go from there okay Aaron Green, who is uh, Jonah Hill, has, 20, uh, has 72 hours to get a rock star from London to LA. Pray for him. Okay, um, Jonah Hill and Russell Brand reuni uh, reunite with the director of Forgetting Sarah Marshall in the outrageous comedy about Aaron Green. Um, and uh, an aspiring music executive who has 72 hours to deliver a wild rock star legend, Aldous Snow which is Russell Brand, um, from, from London to Los Angeles for a comeback concert. In order to keep his job, Aaron must navigate a minefield of mayhem and, and um, outra outrageous, outrageously insane moments does that say, uh, to get Aldis Snow to the world's famous Greek theatre of of all time. From the producers of Knocked Up and Superbad comes up comes the movie that roundly makes you have a good time. Um, hours of uh, additional bonus features as well guys. Um, interviews, gag reels, lead extend, extended and alternative scenes, alternative and extended endings, music videos, featured commentaries, uh, Key cast director, producer, documentaries including getting him to the Greek, getting in tune with the Greek and the making of the African child and very, very lots more. Okay, it's 15s and over. Um, it contains strong sex and drug references, uh, sex and very strong language. Okay, basically, if you didn't get enough detail on that, then um, basically Owen Green, which is, um, I'm going to put that down for a while because it's out of my arms. Um, Owen Green, which is um, Jonah Hill, basically he's a massive fan of Aldous Snow, which is Russell Brand. He loves his music, and uh, Russell Brand, he's got some issues. Um, he's got a drug problem, he's got like, issues like family issues, and uh, He's lonely, he's really, really lonely, and um, it all goes, like, shit up. It all, like, falls to pieces, guys. Um, but Jonah Hill fixes him, and, you know, it was his, it's his dream to work with Aldi Snow again, and he actually works with him, and um, when he does, everything goes out of hand. Well, it's all glued together and it comes into a fantastic sparkling cocktail of a film. Really, really, really good film, guys. I highly recommend it to anyone who watches films like uh, Hangover, Hangover Part 2, um, you know, just them kind of funny comedy films. Um, so you should definitely watch this. This deserves a 10 out of 10. Unfortunately, this isn't my uh, DVD, it's my brother's. Um, as I say, it comes with two discs. But I will be getting this in Blu-ray because I think this film, it, I think this film deserves to be in Blu-ray. Um, but really, really wild and really, really crazy film. Absolutely good film, there, guys. Um, I can't say, I can't stress it much, but I need, I just need to say that this is a really, really good film. There's only one doubt to this film. That's probably my doubt, my only doubt, and uh, probably some other. He, uh, some other people who watch this film it's their doubt as well and that's basically um, Russell Brand um, is being racist to the African black culture at the very start of the film um, that's the only doubt of this film uh, is one racist moment um, but it's really worth watching guys it really is you know Russell Brand doesn't get a lot of, what do you say, a lot of likes because the way he is, but I mean, he's fil when he puts his mind to films like this, he goes really, really well, and just all, 
all sets like concrete. It's a really, really good film, guys. Um, I've got like a black nose, so I may sound a bit weird from, from other videos, but yeah. The soundtrack to this film, I have also got it, and I love the soundtrack. It's absolutely insane. <coughs> I've got more, I've even got the first one which is the uh, African Child but I actually don't listen to it because that's, that one song is like really really racist and I don't like that song. But the rest, I love them, I think the race. Um, Gangs of Lust which is the first song uh, when the film starts, you know, when it's uh, when it zooms in onto all these newspaper articles saying that they split up and then it's uh, that song that goes, let's get fast, let's get fast. It's getting fucked up all the town. That's that one, and um, you know they're just real good soundtracks, uh, real good songs, uh, amazing soundtrack, fantastic uh, film. Highly recommend it, guys. If you haven't seen it, then please do. I'll put the um, link to the uh, to the trailer in the description box as always. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't, I don't think there's. I don't think what I've said to you in this video are spoilers. If you find out watching the film afterwards and you thought there were spoilers, I do apologise for that because I don't need to. I just want to at least get, give you as much details as you possibly want. Um, I can't really do an Australian accent, but the, there's a further part in the uh, film as well. Hill, uh, when he first sees Russell Brand, um, there's a guy called Daffy, uh, not Daffy, uh, Duffy or some, whatever his name is, but he's, a, uh, he's his stepdad and I like uh, Jenna Hill when he comes to the door and he goes, and, uh, because uh, Russell Brand's stepdad's um, Australian and then um, Jenna Hill talks into his normal accent and then um, he goes, I'm so ready, and then he goes, um, oh, I don't know, I don't know why I did that, I'm sorry. Sorry, and then he goes in the building and he goes, shit, shit, I never meant to do that. And it was just like t too many apologises in that bit, it was so funny. Um, but this film is a really worth checking out film, guys. Um, so, yeah, I really appreciate you watching this video, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you want more news on Games of Greek, um, then please do message me uh, privately, or you can have a comment to this video um, as well. Um, for a sequel, I don't know if they're gonna make a sequel, but if they, sh <coughs> excuse me, if they do make a sequel, I form a real good title. It's gonna, it, it should have been called um, for the sequel. It should have been called "Get Him to the Next Greek." And then, um, if there was a prequel, and uh, um, they should uh, say, um, "Get Him to the Last Greek," but they're not gonna make a prequel or a sequel. I just thought them two titles went in my head as soon as I saw that title and uh, I thought they'd be I thought they'd go really well um, if they do make one. But yeah guys, really really good. Excuse me. I was up all night watching this and I was watching um, Bambi as well. And um, before I go it says uh, it includes a hilarious episode from the 30th Rock Season 4 coming soon to DVD. So yeah. Should be fun. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This has been a pleasure of reviewing uh, one of the best films of the year. Uh, it was in 2011, I think that film was. And it was, it's got to be the best film of 2011, the funniest film of 2011. Um, it's, it's even more funnier than the uh, Hangover and Hangover Part 2. That's in my own opinion, but you, you, all you can do is just watch it for yourself, and then uh, think how you um, and what do you call it? Review it for yourself, and uh, that's about pretty much it. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate. it. I'm sorry this video has been too long. I just really wanted you to get as much details as possible, and uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Yeah, I just felt like reviewing uh, a DVD today because I've watched that last night and I had all the thoughts at the top of my head, what to say, and it's a shit weather today anyway, so yeah. Uh, 
keep a close eye out on my channel because there will be a, another DVD review today and I think that'll be Bambi. Um, I don't know, I'm going to watch it because, uh, I'm going to watch it again because I uh, fell asleep through it last night. But it's a fantastic uh, film, but anyway. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh, I know this video has been too long, but I'm really, really, really sorry. So, yeah. DVD Collector Daniel and I'm signing out.